Pregnancy Week 1 to 2. 1 and 2 weeks pregnant. Congratulations. During the first and second week of pregnancy, your body is preparing for possible conception. How is pregnancy calculated? Calculating the day your baby begins to develop and keeping track of your pregnancy dates can be a challenge. The development of pregnancy is counted from the first day of the woman's last normal menstrual period, LMP, even though the development of the fetus does not begin until conception, which is about two weeks later. Pregnancy is calculated from this day because each time a woman has a period, her body is preparing for pregnancy. Counting from the LMP, most women are pregnant an average of 280 days. Calculating from the LMP also gives a standard of measurement for healthcare providers to follow since it is extremely difficult to know exactly when conception occurred. For more information on how pregnancy is measured, please see our information on calculating your dates. What changes are occurring with your body? Your period has just begun, and you may be thinking about becoming pregnant. Your ovulation time is the most important thing you need to understand when trying to conceive. Ovulation occurs when a mature egg is released from the ovary, pushed down the fallopian tube, and available to be fertilized. The lining of the uterus has thickened to prepare for a fertilized egg. If conception does not occur, the uterine lining will be shed. The shedding of an unfertilized egg and the uterine wall occurs during menstruation. There are also several facts that you need to know concerning ovulation. An egg lives 12 to 24 hours after leaving the ovary. Normally, only one egg is released each time you ovulate. Ovulation can be affected by stress, illness, travel, and significant changes in weight, exercise, and sleeping patterns. Some women may experience light spotting during ovulation, this is not considered to be an actual period, but rather an ovulatory bleeding. What is happening with your baby? Nothing is happening yet but be patient while the stage is being set. Before long, an egg will be released and will be available to be fertilized. How do you track ovulation? A woman's monthly cycle is measured from the first day of her menstrual period until the first day of her next period. On average, a woman's cycle normally is between 28 to 32 days. Ovulation is calculated by starting with the first day of the cycle, which is the day the menstrual period begins. Most women ovulate on any one day between day 11, day 21 of their cycle. This is what many refer to as the fertile time or fertility window of a woman's cycle because sexual intercourse during this time increases the chance of pregnancy. For more information on tracking ovulation, please see Fertility Awareness Understanding Ovulation Ovulation Calendar What should you plan at this time? There may need to be some lifestyle changes made at this time to increase your chances of conceiving and having a healthy baby down the road. Adequate exercise and a balanced diet are important factors to evaluate. It is recommended to begin taking prenatal vitamins and stop using substances such as caffeine, artificial sweeteners, alcohol, recreational drugs, nicotine. If you are taking prescription drugs, Check with your healthcare provider to see if such medication is safe to take during pregnancy. For more information on nutrition during pregnancy, please see our information on preconception nutrition. Tips for making your pregnancy better The most important thing you can do right now is to act in the way you would if you already knew you were pregnant. Since it can be weeks before you know if conception has occurred, this will protect both you and your future baby from any substances or activities that could cause problems. 3 weeks pregnant. Sperm med egg last week and voila, you've made a baby. It's so early that when you're 3 weeks pregnant, you may have no idea that you're actually pregnant. Conception just happened a few days ago, and there probably hasn't been time for you to miss a period yet at week 3 of pregnancy. Can you tell you're pregnant at 3 weeks? While some people feel no difference at all at this early stage, others may start to notice three weeks pregnant symptoms. The experience at three weeks pregnant can really vary, so don't fret if you don't feel anything out of the ordinary. However, if you feel nauseous and your breasts are sore, that's normal too. Everything changes quickly in early pregnancy, so no matter how you feel, be prepared to feel different in a week. 
3 weeks, pregnant symptoms. When you're 3 weeks pregnant, symptoms may not have appeared yet. That's because most early pregnancy symptoms are caused by pregnancy hormones. Spotting as the fertilized egg burrows into the lining of your uterus. Nausea. As the pregnancy hormone HCG begins to make its way through your newly pregnant body, you may notice some feelings of queasiness, or nausea so bad it makes you puke. Morning sickness should really be called all-day sickness since it doesn't discriminate by time of day. If you're feeling this symptom of pregnancy at three weeks, you may be further along than you thought. Dot, or you may even be three weeks pregnant with twins. That's because twin moms-to-be often have higher levels of pregnancy hormones and therefore worse nausea. Breast changes Your breasts can start to get sore and your nipples may darken as your body starts prepping to make milk. Missed period. If your cycle is typically shorter than 28 days, you may realize toward the end of this week that you could be pregnant. The only way to know for sure is to take a pregnancy test. Positive home pregnancy test. Check the box of your home pregnancy test to see how accurate its results are before your missed period. Most are over 99% accurate once you've missed it, and some brands promise to detect pregnancy hormones in your urine sooner than that. For example, when you're 3 weeks 5 days pregnant or even 3 weeks 4 days pregnant. Here's the thing, the amount of pregnancy hormone HCG in your body might not be enough for the test to detect right away, but it doubles every 48 hours. If you get a negative result, follow up a few days and then a week later with another pregnancy test and then another, to be sure it wasn't just too early to tell. Positive blood pregnancy test. In some cases, like if you're at risk for miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy, your doctor may ask you to come into the office for a blood draw. Blood tests can detect smaller amounts of HCG than urine tests can, so you may find out that you're pregnant. 3 weeks, pregnant belly. A belly isn't really a thing. Though you may feel a bit bloated, most pregnant women don't start to show until around week 12 or later. Before you start eating for two, know that doctors only recommend most women gain 1 to 5 pounds total in the first trimester, that's the first 13 weeks. So you definitely don't have license to start indulging at three weeks pregnant. In fact, Try to eat a healthy, well-rounded diet and to take a daily prenatal vitamin with at least 400 micrograms of folic acid in it. Doctors don't recommend increasing your daily calorie intake until the second trimester. Once you hit week 14, you'll want to add about 300 calories per day. During week 4, the tiny life you and your partner created just a week ago is implanting and settling into its new home in your uterus, where it will grow and develop over the next 36 weeks. Along with implantation, comes a rise in the pregnancy hormone HCG. At the end of this week, there may be enough HCG to detect with a sensitive early home pregnancy test. First, what is your baby's due date? Your baby's development at 4 weeks. Starting at week 4, your baby is called an embryo. At just 0.2 millimeters, your little embryo is about the size of a poppy seed. Implantation. When the fertilized egg is in the uterus and attaches to the uterine wall, it is called implantation. Implantation usually takes place 6 to 10 days after ovulation. So, if it didn't happen at the end of week 3, your budding baby will burrow into your uterine lining this week. Early Development There inside your fertilized egg are all the cells that will develop into your baby and what your baby needs to survive for the next 9 months. The inner cells begin to transform into your baby's organs and body parts. The outer cells start to form the placenta. You and your baby at 4 weeks pregnant. Your baby at 4 weeks. In weeks 4 to 5 of early pregnancy, the embryo grows and develops within the lining of your womb. The outer cells reach out to form links with your blood supply. The inner cells form into two, and then later into three layers. Each of these layers will grow to be different parts of your baby's body. The inner layer becomes the breathing and digestive systems, including the lungs, stomach, gut, and bladder. The middle layer becomes the heart, blood vessels, muscles, and bones. The outer layer becomes the brain and nervous system, the eye lenses, tooth enamel, skin, and nails. In these early weeks of pregnancy, the embryo is attached to a tiny yolk sac that provides nourishment. 
A few weeks later, the placenta will be fully formed and take over the transfer of nutrients to the embryo. The embryo is surrounded by fluid inside the amniotic sac. It's the outer layer of this sac that develops into the placenta. Cells from the placenta grow deep into the wall of the womb, establishing a rich blood supply. This ensures the baby receives all the oxygen and nutrients it needs. You at four weeks. Conception usually takes place about two weeks after your last period, around the time you release an egg, ovulate. In the first four weeks of pregnancy, you probably will not notice any symptoms. The first thing you may notice is that your period does not arrive, or you may have other signs and symptoms of pregnancy, such as breast tenderness. You can confirm the pregnancy with a pregnancy test. 5 Weeks Pregnant Symptoms Pregnancy symptoms are unique and unpredictable. Two people can each have healthy pregnancies without any of the same symptoms. Likewise, you may have bad nausea in your first pregnancy but no morning sickness in a later pregnancy. The swiftly rising levels of the hormones human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, and progesterone are responsible for many of the pregnancy symptoms you experience. You can expect any of the following week 5 pregnancy symptoms. 1. Morning sickness. Don't be fooled by the word the morning. Nausea and vomiting can happen at any time during the day. While morning sickness typically begins during week 6 of pregnancy, some people experience it earlier. Eating several small meals throughout the day, instead of two or three big meals, may help to relieve these symptoms. Call your doctor if you can't keep any food or liquid down. This may be a sign of hyperemesis gravidarum, which is a rare disorder that involves continual nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. It sometimes requires inpatient treatment at a hospital. 2. Lightheadedness. Your blood pressure tends to run lower than usual during pregnancy. This can cause dizziness and even fainting. If you feel dizzy, sit down if you're standing or pull over if you're driving. 3. Frequent urination. As your uterus expands, it can press against your bladder. This will likely cause you to need to urinate more frequently. Go when you have the urge so that you avoid bladder infections. Drink plenty of water to avoid becoming dehydrated. 4. Abdominal cramps. You may experience mild cramping or bloating. This can be caused by the egg implanting or from your uterus stretching. While mild cramping shouldn't cause alarm, contact your doctor immediately if you experience severe pain that doesn't go away. 5. Vaginal bleeding. Light bleeding, also known as spotting, around the time of your missed period is usually considered implantation bleeding. While spotting can be caused by many factors, Always let your doctor know if you notice any spotting or bleeding at any time during pregnancy. 6. Fatigue. As your progesterone levels increase, you may find yourself feeling sleepy and losing energy. Fatigue is most common during the first trimester, but some people will experience fatigue throughout their pregnancy. 7. Breast changes. You may experience tender, sore, swollen, or fuller breasts as your hormone levels change. This is one of the earliest symptoms of pregnancy and may appear soon after conception. 8. Food cravings and aversions. Your changing hormones can lead to a change in your appetite. You may find yourself avoiding foods you used to enjoy, or you may start craving foods you don't commonly eat. You can begin experiencing food cravings and aversions early on in your pregnancy. 9. Constipation. Your food will start moving more slowly through your digestive system to give nutrients more time to be absorbed into your bloodstream and reach your baby. This delayed transit can lead to constipation. Eating more fiber and drinking lots of fluids can help relieve or eliminate constipation. 10. Increased vaginal discharge. Vaginal discharge during pregnancy may be expected. It should be thin, white, milky, and mild smelling. If the discharge is green or yellowish, has a strong smell, or is accompanied by redness or itching, you should contact your doctor. This is likely a sign of a vaginal infection. 11. Mood Swings Pregnancy can cause a lot of emotions. Not only can the idea of a new baby cause emotional stress, but the changes in your hormones can also affect your emotions. 
It's perfectly fine to feel a variety of emotions from day to day, such as elation, sadness, anxiety, fear, and exhaustion. If these feelings are extreme or last more than a few days, consult your doctor right away. Warning Signs of a Miscarriage According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, about 10% of pregnancies end in miscarriage. Signs of a miscarriage include Vaginal bleeding, the most common sign, which tends to be heavier than spotting and may contain clots. Abdominal or pelvic cramps. Back pain. Call your doctor if you experience any bleeding during pregnancy. An ectopic or a tubular pregnancy is a pregnancy that grows outside the uterus, most often in the fallopian tube. This type of pregnancy isn't viable and can be life-threatening to the birthing parent. Symptoms of an ectopic pregnancy include Vaginal bleeding Pelvic pain or cramping, possibly on one side Shoulder pain Dizziness or fainting Call your doctor right away if you feel as though you are having symptoms of an ectopic pregnancy. Your baby development. The fifth week of pregnancy marks the start of the embryonic period. This is when baby's body systems and structures begin to form, such as the heart, brain, and spinal cord. Your baby's heart beats at a steady rate now, though it may not be detected by ultrasound for another one or two weeks. The placenta is also starting to develop. At this stage, your baby doesn't look like a baby yet. The embryo is growing quickly, but it's still very small, about the size of a pen tip or a sesame seed. Around this time, baby initially measures just 2 to 3 millimeters. Your body is gearing up to go through big changes, too. Pregnancy hormone levels are rapidly rising, and your uterus will begin to grow. You won't look pregnant for a couple more months, but you may start to experience symptoms now. Twin development at week 5. If you're carrying multiples, you may be able to detect your babies through an early ultrasound during week 5. Your babies are measured in millimeters at this point, but you might see two gestational sacs or even a couple of tiny fetal poles as the week goes on. Occasionally, you'll detect two gestational sacs at this early stage, but only one baby at a later ultrasound. This is called vanishing twin syndrome. There's often no clear reason for the loss, per 2021 research. You may have cramping and bleeding, or you may have no symptoms at all. Six weeks pregnant, your little one is developing new features. This week's most important milestone, the neural tube begins to close over what will become your baby's spinal cord. There's more. This week, the areas that will become the eyes and ears have started to project as bumps, and other tiny buds are forming that will eventually grow into arms and legs. A tiny heartbeat of about 105 beats per minute may be detectable in an ultrasound this week, and the brain and nervous system are also developing quickly. In fact, the nose, mouth, and inner and outer ears are just starting to take shape, along with the lungs. In just a few weeks, breathing tubes will form between the throat and the lungs, getting ready for your little one's first breath of air, and maybe a loud wail, at birth. The size of the embryo, at six weeks, pregnant. At six weeks, your embryo measures an average of 0.08 to 0.2 inches about the size of a pomegranate seed. Take a look at the visual below to get an idea of how things are progressing inside your belly. At six weeks, when it comes to the embryo, things are starting to take shape. Mom's body at six weeks pregnant. This week, your breasts may feel tender or achy because of increased blood flow. This is a normal part of your body preparing for breastfeeding. Wearing a supportive bra can help with discomfort. You may also experience constipation because of an increase in progesterone, which slows down the digestive tract. To deal with this, exercise regularly, eat a balanced diet with high-fiber foods, and drink plenty of water. Six weeks pregnant, your symptoms. At six weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Spotting. It's not unusual to see some spotting at six weeks, but it should be light, not even enough to cover a small pantaliner. This implantation bleeding is normal, but if you see a lot of blood, if the spotting lasts longer than two days, or you have any concerns, be sure to see your doctor right away. Cramping. At six weeks pregnant, slight cramping can be normal. It's a sign your uterus and the surrounding tissues are expanding to make room for your baby. If you feel pain more severe than usual period cramping, especially if accompanied by a fever or diarrhea, 
contact your doctor immediately. Morning sickness. If you haven't yet had morning sickness, this may be the week it arrives. Morning sickness can happen any time of day or night. It may be triggered by certain movements, smells, an empty stomach, or nothing at all. Crackers and other simple, starchy foods can help, so keep a little something on hand for those random bouts of nausea. Exhaustion. You may feel completely exhausted due to pregnancy fatigue, and that's okay. As your levels of the pregnancy hormone progesterone are increasing, making you more and more tired, you may find taking naps can help. Some women also say that little snacks and some light exercise are effective in fighting off fatigue. Ways to help yourself feel a bit better. No symptoms. That's right, it's possible to be six weeks pregnant with no symptoms whatsoever. Every pregnancy and every woman is different. For example, some women never experience morning sickness, so if you're one of the lucky few, enjoy these nausea-free days without worry. 7 Weeks Pregnant, Your Baby's Development Although your baby's brain development will continue long after birth, the basic sections have formed. As the week progresses, the digestive system and lungs are also developing. Tiny facial features are also starting to take shape, and each little arm now has a paddle-shaped hand attached to it. Another important development this week is the formation of the umbilical cord. This cord creates a connection between you and your developing baby throughout. Throughout your pregnancy that allows nutrients and oxygen to flow between you and also eliminates your baby's waste. If you have a prenatal checkup scheduled for this week or sometime soon, and have an ultrasound exam, you may have an opportunity to see and hear something amazing, a heartbeat. Don't worry if this isn't in your healthcare provider's plans quite yet. The size of the embryo at 7 weeks, pregnant. Your little one is growing fast. At 7 weeks, the embryo is about the size of a small blueberry, about 0.3 inch long. For a visual idea of how things are developing inside your uterus this week, check out this illustration, placenta, yolk sac, embryo, amniotic sac, uterus, cervix. Mom's body at 7 weeks pregnant. The pregnancy signs and symptoms you may have experienced in the past weeks will probably continue, and some of them may become more pronounced this week. Although these symptoms can be tiring and annoying, keep in mind that you're just a few weeks away from your second trimester, when many of these symptoms may subside. One symptom you may be experiencing around this week of pregnancy is frequent urination. Hormonal changes and increased blood volume are to blame for this. Now that there's more fluid in your system, it means more for your kidneys to process, and as a result, more urine is produced. 7 Weeks Pregnant, Your Symptoms At 7 weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Excess Salivation You may notice more saliva than usual, often accompanying the nausea and vomiting of morning sickness. It may feel weird, but this is just another strange, yet normal part of pregnancy, for many women. Food cravings or aversions. Feel like pickles and chocolate for dinner? Can't stand the smell of eggs even though it never used to bother you? Your food preferences and tolerance for odors may change during this time, and these changes are most likely caused by hormones. If you find yourself craving any non-food items, like dirt or chalk, talk to your healthcare provider right away. Nausea. Of all of this week's symptoms, morning sickness can be the worst. It's often in full effect at this stage, and it can make you feel absolutely miserable. Luckily, for many women it's likely to disappear during the second trimester. Diarrhea. As if you needed another trip to the bathroom at seven weeks, diarrhea is usually nothing to worry about. It may be one of the gastrointestinal symptoms, like constipation or indigestion, that you might experience due to fluctuating hormones. Try adding foods like applesauce, oatmeal, and bananas to your diet to help absorb any excess water, and stay hydrated, as diarrhea can lead to dehydration. Spotting Light spotting at 7 weeks, pregnant is considered normal, especially after sex. If you notice heavier bleeding, call your healthcare provider. Cramping if you feel mild cramps, what you're experiencing is quite normal. Your uterus is expanding, so some discomfort is to be expected. 
If the cramping is severe or long-lasting, or if you feel pain other than cramping, call your healthcare provider. Fatigue. You may continue to feel exhausted this week. Your levels of the hormone progesterone are quickly increasing, and it's this hormone that can make you feel sleepy. Eight weeks pregnant, your baby's development. This week, hands and feet are forming tiny fingers and toes, and those arms are able to flex at the elbows and wrists. At this point, eyes begin to develop pigment, and genitals are forming too, although it's still too soon to know whether you're expecting a boy or a girl. If you feel like taking a guess though, have some fun with our baby gender quiz. These external features aren't the only things developing, the internal organs are making strides. As the intestines form, they start to take up space in the umbilical cord because there's not enough room in your baby's abdomen yet. Even at this early stage, the intestines are working to carry waste away from the body. A month from now, when there's more room in your little one's belly, the intestines will move out of the cord and back into the abdomen. The size of the embryo at 8 weeks pregnant. Your baby has already come a long way, and soon, growth will speed right up. Your little one is about the size of a raspberry this week, just 0.5 to 0.6 inch long, crown to rump. Mom's body at 8 weeks pregnant. By the time you're 8 weeks pregnant, pregnancy symptoms will be in full swing. Your clothes are may start to pinch a little, but on the plus side, you may be able to hear your baby's heartbeat for the first time, something to make up for the not-so-pleasant symptoms you may have been experiencing. You may be wondering when you will start showing. 8 Weeks Pregnant, Your Symptoms At 8 weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Morning Sickness You may be dealing with nausea and even vomiting right about now. The good news is morning sickness symptoms usually subside during the second trimester, and you're almost there. For now, try nibbling on crackers before you get up, and aim for 5 or 6 small meals a day, rather than 3 large ones. Food and Smell Aversions Certain tastes and odors that have never bothered you before may seem overbearing or repugnant, thanks to increased hormones that amplify your sense of smell and make your stomach feel as if you're on a wild roller coaster ride. Diarrhea Your digestive system may be far more sensitive now. Make sure you're practicing healthy eating habits and staying hydrated. Contact your healthcare provider if the diarrhea lasts longer than 24 hours. Or is accompanied by any other symptoms and do not take antidiarrheal medicine or any medication before checking with your provider. Frequent urination. Yes, you may still be making lots of extra trips to the bathroom. This symptom will come and go throughout the rest of your pregnancy as your baby grows and your uterus expands, both of which put pressure on your bladder. Abdominal cramping. This symptom can be associated with the continued growth of your uterus. Back pain. By the time you are 8 weeks pregnant, back pain may strike, particularly around the lower back. That's because the muscles in your back are working a bit harder than usual as your weight is redistributed to accommodate your growing uterus. Furthermore, your center of gravity is changing, and those pregnancy hormones are working on relaxing ligaments in the joints of your pelvis. Light spotting. Spotting, a few drops of blood at a time, can be normal. However, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider if you feel at all concerned and call right away if you notice heavier bleeding. Fatigue. Your progesterone levels are increasing, which can often leave you feeling more tired than usual. Go ahead and grab some extra snooze time whenever you can. If you're feeling exhausted, listen to your body and try to take it easy. Trouble sleeping. Changing hormone levels, discomfort, and extra trips to the restroom often add up to disturbed sleep. Try listening to peaceful music or reading a book if you're feeling wide awake. You can also try drinking warm milk or taking a shower or bath before bed. Some women find lying on their left side is helpful, as it improves blood circulation. Placing a pillow between your knees may help you feel more comfortable too. 9 Weeks Pregnant Your Baby's Development this week, your little one, now officially known as a fetus, is looking less and less like a little pink blob and instead has more of a mini baby shape. Even the tail that had been present in earlier weeks has almost disappeared. Tiny facial features continue to develop this week, including a more prominent nose and eyelids. Up top, the head is large compared to the body, while down below, little toes are now visible. 
Internal organs are also forming, including the digestive and reproductive systems, meaning that the intestines as well as testes or ovaries are growing. Now that you're 9 weeks pregnant, your little one may be starting to move, thanks to some recent muscle development. But you'll have to wait until sometime in the second trimester to actually feel these movements. The size of the fetus at 9 weeks pregnant. At 9 weeks, the fetus is about the size of a cherry. Your little one may now measure 0.6 to 0.7 inch long and weigh about 0.12 ounce. Mom's body at 9 weeks pregnant. Symptoms at 9 weeks pregnant may include changes to your breasts. They are probably fuller, heavier, and tender to the touch due to the enlargement of your milk glands and an increase in fatty tissue. Although your breasts will likely continue to grow throughout your pregnancy, the sensitivity will usually subside once your body adjusts to the surge of pregnancy hormones. 9 Weeks Pregnant, Your Symptoms At 9 weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Growing Waistline Your belly at 9 weeks pregnant may not have a pronounced, rounded look, but your pre-pregnancy clothes are probably feeling a little snug due to a combination of a thickening waistline and some bloating brought on by your old friends, pregnancy hormones. Spotting You may see some spotting in the first trimester. Call your healthcare provider if you see any more than a few drops of blood. Mild uterine cramping This is a time of rapid change in your body, and you may experience mild uterine cramping. If the cramping is severe, or if you feel other pain like lower back pain, call your doctor to rule out any problems. Morning sickness if you haven't experienced morning sickness by now, you could be one of the lucky ones who will avoid this common symptom. But if you do get morning sickness, keep on eating smaller meals frequently throughout the day and remember to stay hydrated. Being hungrier. You may start to feel a bit hungrier than usual, so munch on some extra snacks, keeping in mind that you only need to add about 300 calories to your daily intake. Foods like fruit, cereal, and yogurt are great choices. Food cravings and aversions Your sense of smell is heightened now, and foods and smells you once enjoyed may now seem unpleasant. On the flip side, you may now find you crave certain foods. You can feel free to indulge any food cravings you have, as long as they seem healthy. Just make sure you're sticking to a balanced diet. Always talk to your healthcare provider if you crave non-food things like dirt or chalk. Fatigue Thanks to an increase in your levels of the hormone progesterone during the first trimester, you may find yourself sleepier than usual. Rest as much as you can during the day, particularly if you're having trouble sleeping at night. Feeling moody. If you're feeling on top of the world one minute and doomed the next, you can thank pregnancy hormonal changes. Speak to loved ones about how you're feeling it may help you feel a little better and seek help from your healthcare provider if your mood swings are severe. Frequent urination. Yes, those extra trips to the bathroom may still be a part of your day as your baby grows and your uterus presses against your bladder. This need to pee more often may also be caused by the increased volume of blood in your body, which makes your kidneys work overtime. Don't drink less water, as staying hydrated is important, but try to go to the restroom before you head out the door or before you go into a long meeting. If you notice a burning sensation or pain when you pass urine, call your doctor because this can be a sign of a urinary tract infection. Acne. If you're experiencing acne now and didn't before you got pregnant, or if your acne is worse now than before, it may be one of your pregnancy symptoms. Read up on how you can combat some of those spots and blemishes and remember that it's just one of those pesky pregnancy hormone-related symptoms that should clear soon after your baby is born. Ten week pregnant your baby's development your baby has come a long way in just a few short weeks that little head is taking on a rounder more human shape and by now all the internal organs should be in place and starting to work together tiny tooth buds have begun to develop too your baby's fingers and toes are growing longer and the webs that have been between each finger and toe are starting to disappear at the moment, your baby's eyes, eyelids, and ears are continuing to develop, but they've still got some growing to do before they're fully formed. The size of the fetus at 10 weeks pregnant. 
your little one is still growing very quickly. At 10 weeks, the average fetus is about the size of a strawberry, measuring approximately an inch from crown to rump. Mom's body at 10 weeks pregnant. Your uterus is about the size of a large orange at this point, whereas before you became pregnant, it was about the size of a small pear. Around this time, you likely have had or will soon have a visit with your healthcare provider for a thorough examination. At this appointment, your provider may do an internal and external abdominal exam to determine the size and position of your baby, as well as take blood samples for a variety of other tests. These blood tests may be used to determine if you have any infections, what your blood type and RH factor are, and whether your own immunizations are up to date. 10 weeks pregnant, your symptoms. At 10 weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Morning sickness. You're not alone if you're 10 weeks pregnant and you're still suffering from morning sickness. The good news? You're likely to start feeling better soon. Morning sickness often goes away after you enter the second trimester. Keep in mind, some moms to be experience a more severe form of morning sickness called hyperemesis gravidarum. If you suspect you may have this, speak to your healthcare provider. Round ligament pain. Of all of the pregnancy symptoms you may be experiencing around this time, this one is among the most uncomfortable. Round ligaments are two of the ligaments in your pelvis that help support the uterus, and as your baby grows during pregnancy they stretch and soften. When these ligaments tighten, you may feel pain on one or both sides of your abdomen. Changing positions in bed or doing strenuous exercise may bring on this pain. Light stretching and gentle movements may help relieve the discomfort. If this symptom doesn't go away on its own, or if you also have a fever, call your healthcare provider. Minimal weight gain. Even though your clothes may be fitting a bit tighter, you may not have gained much weight, and you may even have lost a little if you've been dealing with morning sickness. Be sure to talk to your doctor if you're concerned. Exhaustion. You might feel like napping at every opportunity. This could be thanks to the increased levels of the hormone progesterone in your body. Headaches. Some moms-to-be get the occasional headache during pregnancy. If you're experiencing this symptom, try to rest in a darkened room and apply an ice pack to your head or neck to help relieve the pain. Contact your healthcare provider if the headache persists or is severe. Mood swings. Hormonal changes may play a role in the highs and lows you feel when you're about 10 weeks pregnant. You may find it helpful to distract yourself by chatting with friends, watching funny TV shows or movies or treating yourself to a massage, just be sure to choose a trained masseuse who knows about safe massage techniques for pregnant women. Vaginal Discharge You might be seeing more vaginal discharge than before, which is caused by your increased blood supply and higher hormone levels. This normal vaginal discharge is known as leucorrhea, and you can expect to see a clear to milky colored, nearly odorless discharge that may appear slightly yellowish on your underwear. Contact your healthcare provider, though, if you notice a strong odor or color changes, or if you experience itching or bleeding around the vaginal area. Acne If you're experiencing acne now and didn't before you got pregnant, or if your acne is worse now than before, it may be one of your pregnancy symptoms. And remember that it's just one of those pesky pregnancy hormone-related symptoms that should clear soon after your baby is born. 11 weeks pregnant, your baby's development. From an oversized head to tiny tooth buds, this week is full of exciting growth and changes, both big and small. Your baby's facial features are slowly maturing, with the ears now moving toward their final position on the sides of the head, and the eyes set wide apart with eyelids fused shut. Genitals are forming too, although it's still too early for your healthcare provider to tell if you're having a girl or a boy. But even though you don't know your baby's gender yet, why not start a list of your favorite baby names for boys and girls? Have some fun with our baby name generator. You still have plenty of time to browse and find a name you love. Tiny buds that will eventually become teeth are developing. The head makes up half the total body length at this stage, although in the coming weeks the body will grow significantly too. To support all this growing, your baby now needs more nutrients, so the placenta grows, and its red blood cells increase in number to meet this need. The size of the fetus at 11 weeks pregnant. At 11 weeks, the fetus is about the size of a Brussels sprout. 
From crown to rump, the average length is now 2 inches, and the average fetus weighs just about 0.33 ounce. Mom's body at 11 weeks pregnant. Are you having unusual food cravings this week? They're quite common, between 50 and 90% of women experience these cravings at some point during pregnancy. No one knows for sure why pregnancy cravings occur, some medical experts believe these cravings are your body's way of telling you what it needs, while others blame them on changing hormone levels. As long as your food choices are part of a healthy pregnancy diet, go ahead and eat up. There is a type of craving that needs medical attention, however, if you crave non-food items like clay or dirt, contact your healthcare provider. 11 weeks pregnant, your symptoms. At 11 weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Breast growth. Your breasts may be a little larger now, and you can expect to see even more growth as your pregnancy progresses. Some of this may be because the milk glands grow in preparation for breastfeeding. You might gain up to 3 pounds of breast tissue over the course of your pregnancy. Increased vaginal discharge. Your body may be releasing more clear vaginal discharge now. This is normal as long as it is odorless and clear or white in color. If you notice changes including blood, itchiness, or a foul odor, contact your healthcare provider to rule out problems. Dark abdominal line. You might notice you have developed a long, dark line that runs vertically down the center of your belly. It's called the linea nigra, or the a pregnancy line, and it's thought to be associated with hormonal changes. This line will likely fade after your baby's birth. Leg cramps. You may be troubled by tight, painful leg cramps, particularly at night. This can make it tough to get a good night's rest. Stretching can help with leg cramps, as can exercise. In some cases, mineral depletion may contribute to having leg cramps, so make sure that your diet is giving you enough calcium and magnesium, and take care to stay hydrated. Fatigue. Right now, your levels of the pregnancy hormone progesterone are increasing, which can sometimes make you sleepy when you'd rather be alert. And, if you've been waking to pee or having leg cramps or getting heartburn during the night, your sleep may be suffering too. Eliminating caffeine and following a relaxing bedtime ritual every evening can help fight pregnancy fatigue. Mood swings. You can thank your heightened hormone levels if you've been experiencing mood swings or moodiness lately. Try to avoid stress and ensure you're getting enough iron in your diet. Practicing yoga, doing simple meditations, or relaxing while listening to soft music might help you feel a little better. You could also ask your healthcare provider for advice on dealing with your mood swings, particularly if they're interfering with your daily life. Morning sickness. You might experience queasiness and even vomiting at 11 weeks pregnant, and this can occur at any time of day. Morning sickness often subsides in the second trimester, though, and you're almost there. Baby development at 12 weeks. Your baby is about the size of a lime. Length. 2.13 inches. Weight. 2.05 ounces. Small movements. This week, your baby can open and close their hands, making a fist, and curl their toes. Tiny fingernails. Your baby has itsy bitsy nails growing on their fingers and toes. Your baby's intestines. The stomach and esophagus started forming around 7 weeks of pregnancy, and your baby's intestines grew so fast that they protruded into the umbilical cord. Soon, the abdominal wall will close and their intestines will make their way inside their abdomen. Your baby, although tiny, is now fully formed. They are about the size of a plum. The placenta is also now fully formed, although it will keep growing throughout your pregnancy. The placenta is your baby's life support system, passing oxygen, nutrients and antibodies from your blood supply to your baby. From now on, your baby is going to grow, grow, grow. Even though you can't feel it yet, your baby is moving, waving and dancing. They can also swallow. Your 12-week fetus is almost done developing their body's important systems and parts, which means it's all about getting bigger and more mature from here on out. Yep, baby's about to enter the growth and maturation stage, in which organs and tissues will grow and develop rapidly. 
Baby at 12 weeks is opening and closing their fingers and curling their toes, and their brain is developing fast. Baby is now developing reflexes. If you poke your 12-week pregnant belly while looking at baby on an ultrasound, you'll likely see movement. If you're 12 weeks pregnant with twins, your twosome is developing at a similar rate as singleton babies at 12 weeks. Later on, they'll have a slightly slower rate of growth. Early pregnancy symptoms at 12 weeks. Your signs of pregnancy may include an aching stomach, nausea, mood swings, a metallic taste in your mouth, sore breasts, indigestion and heartburn, headaches, dizziness, new likes and dislikes for food and drink, a heightened sense of smell, a white milky pregnancy discharge from your vagina, light spotting, see your doctor if you get bleeding in pregnancy, cramping, a bit like period pains, darkened skin on your face or brown patches, this is known as cloasma or the a mask of pregnancy, greasier, spotty skin, thicker and shinier hair, bloating and the feeling of being bloated.